Hello there, how are you going? Well, the last time I did an update on my health, it was regarding my calcific tendonitis. So, what's the latest? Well, let me tell you what's happened. I'll take you back a bit first towards when I had the absolute flare-up. I was in France towards the, well, the end of August. I had an awful flare-up, absolute agony. I came back and saw the specialist who gave me a cortisone injection, which really didn't hurt at the time, but it only lasted a week and the flare-up returned. He then sort of gave me some medication which I had an allergic reaction to, so I stopped taking painkillers. I didn't actually need them for a couple of weeks, but what he did do was he sent me to get some MRI scans done and some x-rays, and they came back saying exactly what he suspected, calcific tendonitis, problems in the bursa area, etc. And he referred me to a surgeon. The specialist had told me, and this is something I hadn't told you, I had arguably the worst case he's ever seen of calcific tendonitis, and really we've tried all other avenues and surgery was the only option. He was, though, very nervous that perhaps it might be open rather than keyhole arthroscopic surgery. Anyway, I went to see the surgeon who looked at the MRI scans and also looked at the x-rays, and he said it was a very serious case. In fact, he used the same words that the specialist used that's very impressive regarding the calcium deposits on the shoulder and tendon area and the rotator cuff. And he said to me, well, the good news is, yes, you do need surgery, but it will probably be arthroscopic. So the latest is tomorrow I go in and have arthroscopic surgery. Let me tell you the exact name of the surgery that I'm having. Um, this is what he wrote. Uh, given the previous management, I have recommended consideration to a right shoulder arthroscopy, subacromial decompression, and excision of calcium. So he's going to remove the calcium after inserting a pencil-sized camera into my shoulder. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? And then he's going to shave some of the sort of the bone area around it because the calcium has been pretty heavy and it's reshaped some of the bone, which isn't very good, is it? And I'm going to hopefully get that sorted. Now, what I haven't told you, is I have an absolute phobia of needles, a phobia of blood, and I'm not a fan of hospitals. Yes, doctors and nurses do an amazing job. They work long hours, and I admire them. But they're places that scare me, even visiting somebody. So if you're a needle phobic or you don't like hospitals, I totally understand. I'm with you there. And I hope these videos, and part of the purpose of them, is to hopefully reassure people, because I am, in many case, cases and examples, a worst case scenario. I don't like hospitals, I don't like needles. The surgeons are aware of that, the doctors are aware of that, the nurses are aware of that, so they're going to make it as easy as possible. The surgeon tells me I'll probably have a sling on for two to three days. Uh, he reckons within a week or two I can go back to work and within two to three months I'll have 80% movement back and within five months 100% recovery. Now that may be optimistic, I don't know. Everybody's different. What I do hope, though, is that with constant physiotherapy, constant checkups, you know, physiotherapy two to three times a week, soon after surgery, a few days in fact, I will make a quick recovery. I don't want to overdo it, though. But I will do updates following surgery tomorrow. I'm terrified of it. I am. But it really is the best thing. We've exhausted all other options. I want to thank you all for your support. But I will let you know what happens. I will let you know how it goes. And I want to reassure all of you that if I can go through this, so can you. But good luck. And if you've got calcific tendonitis or any of the symptoms or experiences that I've described, please know you're not alone. And write to me. Ask me for advice. Ask me about my experiences, anything. I've put links below this video to my previous video about what I've got. And I've put links explaining the operation and surgery I'm having, plus the condition. Thanks very much. Next video following surgery. I'll talk to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening.